Hello, Pisces. You know, some of you may have been dealing with the King of Wands in the past. And the King of Wands, this could be you. You may have been feeling very confident and getting your kind of looking good, feeling good, getting ready to get back out there in the world. And for others of you, this may be somebody that you were dealing with in the past that was very captivating, very charismatic. Whatever it was about this King of Wands, male or female, they were very charismatic and may have even convinced you to create a partnership. And it had this wonderful element of possibility, a wonderful element of the potential of success. If this is career, a successful new career, a business endeavor, Pisces, some of you, this may have been a relationship where you were asked to be in a relationship or it was hinted. There's something about this King of Wands, again, male or female, that doesn't quite set right in the past. And they may have left you, and I'm gonna pull some cards to see where this is going. Whether you were left by a career or left by the roadside, so to speak, from a romantic relationship or a family member, we're going to take a look at it. Welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Laurieann, here to give you the messages for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Pisces. I shouldn't have to say it, but yes, Venus is included in this. Any aspect of this reading is for you. It truly, truly is. So the love portion that comes out would be for Venus. Otherwise, we are doing, we're turning back to uh, our love readings. Now, the love readings we have are beautiful, they're romantic, and they're also filled with all the adversities of the twin flame journey and how to uh, elevate and, and gravitate out of that as well. They're returning this uh first week of June. So welcome Pisces. And this is a general reading. So whatever comes out in the reading, I will relate to you. Now there's something again, like I said about this King of Wands, I feel he was very authoritative, he or she, very authoritative, very commanding, possibly demanding for some of you. I feel that they use this uh, form of partnership as as a, like a manipulation, we have the moon card. So this is about deception. Something was hidden about this person. Something that you may have felt was a potential for a, a possible partnership. Something you felt would lead you to the 10 of cups, right? A happy home, happy life, uh, a happy relationship partnership with a business opening up a, a new career avenue but when we're talking about cups that's your feelings and that relates to pisces on every single level now i personally have a pisces moon so i'm well acquainted with the way pisces work and uh this is on a romantic level, this is you really feeling your confident self. And when Pisces is confident in a romantic way, you just draw like, you know, bees and honey. You know, it's like you just draw in people to you. You really, really do. You've got this amazing uh, upbeat attitude. So we're gonna look at where this is in the present moment because that's past energy. And as we look at it, the present moment, we'll roll into the future for the month of June, rolling into July. And if I do say May, I'm so sorry. Um, and I apologize for the dogs. It's not mine. We have the Nine of Swords in the current energy. This is a fear. This is anxiety. This is uh, apprehension of moving forward into this committed relationship, into any kind of relationship. For some of you, this is about family where there may have been secrets hidden in the back. It may have been a secret where somebody you were involved with was actually married or vice versa and they didn't tell you. And now you find out about it. Where if it was a business, the business itself may have offered another person the same opportunity they offered you. And now everybody's in a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> With this Eight of Swords, that's a pickle, feeling trapped and stuck. Had I known, I may not have invested. Had I known, 
I wouldn't have done this and now what am I going to do? Now for some of you, this may be a partnership where you literally are uh, looking at some type of a scenario where you feel in trouble, <laughs> in trouble. I don't mean necessarily going to jail, though it could very well be with these two cards. But this is like feeling like you may have done something wrong. Uh, cross the line. They could have been married and you didn't know and you married him again. And that's really not, I hope that's not for too many of you, but there's something in this moon energy that has scared you in the present moment. They could have had a family that they hid from you. And for some of you, it could be you. You may have had another family that no one knew about, possibly even you. Whatever it is, I do feel you're getting ready to make a very big leap forward. Some of you are afraid to move into a commitment again, like I said, right? And that came out very strongly with Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn or you're involved with a Cap, take a look at that. That may very well help you. But this is a type of energy where you are not really stuck. It's your fears and it's the thought process that's putting you in this holding pattern right now, Pisces. And you have the ability to move through it. And before we move forward, I'm going to ask you to please thumbs up this video. Even if it doesn't sound like you, it will help other Pisceans that need to hear this message. So as we look at this, this is this is beautiful, the chariot. Some of you might be buying a new vehicle and you're afraid to buy a new vehicle. Let's face it, with the world changing all around us, we aren't quite certain and certain, you know, if we do this and then we see that uh, several weeks or months later, something changes about it. So there could be some apprehension, like I said in the beginning, of making this change, whatever is getting ready to take place. You know, some of you, I feel that you're supposed to move. You are literally supposed to move in this opportunity that is being presented to you. That's where you're afraid. Maybe it's not the job. Maybe it's not the career or the opportunity, but it's the physical move, moving away from your family. If I move from my family, or if you have to commute from far away, from a long distance, before I did your reading when I was shuffling, the eight of wands fell on the floor upside down. So you might be fearing that if you work far away, if you're separated from your family, that will cause some issues. Now in the future, we've got the Wheel of Fortune Pisces. This is you getting ready to start something new. Turning the Wheel of Fortune, the destiny card. That's what this is all about. For some of you, this is a partnership that you know is meant to be you know this is your soulmate. You know this is your person. Whether it's a spiritual belief or a humanistic belief, it doesn't matter. You know this is your person. This is the one you want to have a family with. You want to go forward in life with. You literally do. But you are terrified of doing this and you know we've all been there in one area of our life or another so with this type of heaviness in here uh maybe because of the secrets of the past whether it's you or theirs you might be suspecting that this company this person whatever you're dealing with is hiding something from you only you can turn that wheel of fortune. And that is done by bringing in your ultimate confidence. Now, this is really cool because the first card of your deck is the King of Wands. And the last card is the Queen of Wands. This is an absolute soulmate pairing match right here that is destined to move forward. So instead of fearing this, Pisces, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but you can do it a little bit different. I'm being guided to tell you, rather than fearing it, embrace it and move with the flow. Believe in a way you've never believed before and watch miracles happen, Pisces. This is an amazing relationship and this is gonna be a short reading because I mean, this is really more about love. It is a partnership, so it can be on any level of your life. But for a lot of you, whoever this soulmate is, 
is a destined individual in your life and I feel they're going to be there for quite some time. Now, I shuffled the card and I put this in. This card came out for Capricorn as well and you just saw me shuffle them right now and it flew out for you. So there is some, some of you, you've got Capricorn in your chart or you are dealing with somebody who's got Cap in it. It may be the season of Capricorn. When you originally met them, when you originally came into play, maybe now you're looking at it in this fear sector. You're gonna know how that relates to you. Now I'm gonna pull a Romance Angel card and this is gonna be for each of you, whether you are married, single, uh, apart, it doesn't matter. It has everything to do with the fear attached to this energy Pisces. You know, this person may have hurt you in the past, somehow, some way, or it reminds you of an exact situation. And that's what the soulmates do. They bring something up in us that we need to heal and fix. And that's how it becomes a twin flame journey. They trigger the opposing side of us, forcing us to look at our fears, fear of commitment, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of whatever it is in life. They force us to do that. And that's why a lot of the cards have the beautiful colors of silver and gold. The difference, the, the, the divide, the differences in people. Free yourself from whatever you've been working on on any level in your life because this, if it's about something or someone you love, you've got an amazing opportunity to come in, coming in. Now, for a lot of you, you've been very focused on your finances and career, or you are getting ready to focus on your finance and career. That could be the fear in itself. You may have been an overworker in the past and it affected your family or your first family, your birth family did. You know what I'm talking about, where you've already experienced what it's like to be a workaholic. So you therefore recognize, oh my gosh, if I do this, I am gonna be working so many hours and fearing the entrapment of being stuck to your job. The travel that's involved for some of you, you're gonna have travel involved, commute back and forth. Remember I said that that commute back and forth, I'm pretty sure I did. And if I didn't, I am now commuting back and forth, like relocating for a career, for a business venture, but leaving your family here, wherever here is for you, going back and forth. Now the overall message is gonna be uh, from the angels themselves, and I'm guided to pull this for you. So the card that came out is no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look in other options and ask yourself, how you would do this, ask for guidance, ask for help. Because this feeling of being stuck is truly, for a lot of you, it may be in the mental thought process whereby changing the way you think, you can literally make a miracle happen in your life. Pisces, I hope you like this reading. We're gonna have an amazing month. I have so many new things I'm bringing out for you guys. In the month of June, subscribe to our, uh, our free membership at the website and all of that is below. Join us in our membership live. Have a wonderful month. Much love.